Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and Administrator Diddly and Tony PNGs. I'm on my desktop and what I'm going to do is start you off with Affinity Designer by going over to the icon which is up in the right top corner there and as you can see there's a blue icon there that's your Affinity Designer then you've got Affinity Publisher and Affinity Photo there these are all three of the Affinity um, tools that I've, I've paid for uh, on Affinity Designer we double click it and up comes the splash screen showing that it's loading fonts and everything and then it comes up with the actual Affinity Designer new document splash screen and then it comes up with the view samples here so you can click the samples there if you want to you can click on to tutorials that they've done these are very basic tutorials they don't give you lots of information but just enough for what you need for a particular thing um, you've got support forums here in case you have any questions you've got the Facebook group and the Twitter group you can also uncheck the show this panel on startup so that it won't show next time you start it up if you want to I wouldn't recommend it right as well as that you can click on new documents here right when you click on the new documents this new document window comes up and you have the print uh, is already um, um, the print tab is already selected at the moment because that's the one I usually use right so you got your A4, A3 and A5 sizes here already set in the this menu and you can get up and down it we're using the slider bar here um, you can also do your own custom ones if you need to and I've done one and I've made it into one of my presets so if I click on the preset tab as you can see I've done one here standard preset for doodly 1920 by 1800 uh, in, in pixels so I know that's perfectly right for doing a doodly um, scene or anything so I can create a scene there for doodly that's what I use that for but most of the time I use an A4 and you can either do a put, um, landscape or portrait by clicking on these two little squares here that one's landscape that one's portrait uh, if you want to customize it anyway like you can change the um, document units to whatever you want pixels um, inches feet yards centimeters or meters according to what you want I'll just stick with millimeters to be honest but and you if you want to create an artboard you can create an artboard uh, I don't usually bother with the artboards I just carry on with the main thing because I just do designing on one item at a time really but if you want to do loads of items artboards are pretty good for that sort of thing um, as keeping them all separate as you need to sometimes when you're doing loads of different ones um, and I always keep the prefer embedded on your colour format I've got RGB on but you can change it to CMYK if you want to by going down the list and there are other options there as well like grey um, if you need to change the background because when I put click on this it will go to white background but you can cre create transparent background by checking this if you want to you can also uh, include margins there by putting the right margin on that you want if you if you know exactly what you want to do with there and a bleed if you need to print off some which needs um, particular colors up to a certain line and you need to cut it out that will give you uh, a little bit of extra color beyond the lines to make sure you get the right color on the actual picture that you're doing so if you want to mess about with that if you uh, have problems with your print deal you deal with that sort of area if need be and you click create if you've got what you want so A4 let's have landscape and create that and up comes the A4 landscape sheet right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the simple things like um, how to add a picture from off your desktop so to do that all the toolbars are on this side here but every time you touch a toolbar or 
mess about with the toolbar this line across here will have a load of different properties of that toolbar which you can alter and help to create something special with your images okay so these toolbars are most important and this one up here is very important the move toolbar if you want to move any item on here you make sure you click on that before you move it otherwise you could absolutely screw up your image whatever you're doing or you could accidentally put a duplicate on there or you know an extra shape of whatever you've already clicked on so let's go on to this one here this is a place image tool right that's that one there that looks like his picture right now it brings up a pop-up menu which is um, just a search menu on your desktop you can change it to wherever you want to go to um, I'm gonna go all the way down here to this one and if you get to a clip art you can put clip art on so we've got like all sorts of different things here you can't see them at the moment but I assure you there's some fish here so what I'm gonna do is just click on one and open it and then just give it time because it's searching for it on me so thing so let's just look as you can see it's not responding at the moment so I'll give it a second there you go that's just come up and you can adjust it like that right um, as you can see you can adjust it with any of these little dots in the middles of the line and in the corners including that one there you can also use this circular one to turn it uh, around the axis wherever the axis is so the axis is right in smack bang in the middle of the picture at the moment but you can change where that axis is by some of these up here like enable transform origin there so if I wanted to transform the origin to over here now try turning that it'll turn around that it should turn around that area there yeah like that for example all right so if you want to put it right you go back on it and make sure you've put it back where it was in the original state there okay right so that's how you get a picture on right um if you wanted to create um an image yourself you got this these shape apps here down here so you've got a square or rectangular shape you can do so many of them if you want to or you can just do one and then you can color them by this color wheel by clicking on the color wheel and you go move tool and then click on another color if you want to change the color click on that one change the color again and so on like this right now if you want to use the ellipse tool you can make different kinds of circles as well you've got um, a rounded rectangle then lower down you've got this one which has got a triangle on at the moment but if you look at it in the corner of that there's a little white triangle there and if you click on it it comes up with a lot of other different shapes that you can use right so once you've got a shape up if you notice because I've still got that one selected it's got a little red dot on it this little red dot you move it about it transforms the shape a little bit to a different shape according to where you move the dot right as well as that like I said before all the properties of these tools will be up here so you can change the sides there look at size 5 change it to more sides like that and less sides so you could have an hexagon shape and you can do that with most of the things there are different dots on different shapes according to what the shape is there isn't anything on there I can't see at the moment this one there will be on the on the corner look there uh, the triangle will be as well because you need to put the point at a different angle like that right so that's important but besides those things you can also click on the actual item and then you go up here to where it says convert to curves yeah click on that 
Now you can go over to here to this node tool here, which is on the the third one down on the toolbars, and you click on the node tool and you can change the shape by if you click on it you'll get a a spot on and then you can pull that up and it'll make an extra angle or you can get onto the other edge where you'll have a line and then you pull it down and it'll make a circle shape or a, a curve shape now you do that just get used to it learn how it works if you click on it too hard you'll get the spot like that all you have to do then is if you if you want to get rid of that you just go to edit undo move or you can um, delete and it'll delete that actual dot like that and then try again uh -uh. okay so that's what you can do so if you want to make a shape that's how you make shapes and change the shapes that you got already so if you want to create a character or anything you can do it that way right um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all select all like that no okay, time selecting all wait a minute go to the move tool first then select all right if you do that you should select everything then edit delete right so if you if you go under the edit menu you can delete it you can also use delete on here when it's selected you know if you pick some it up like that if you want to uh, know anything else um, let's try opening a file so if you want to open a file so you've already got something you've already done wait a minute let's go to my documents my desktop let's go to desktop I've got something on here I've, I've already created ready there you go um, I'm doing a night for one of my friends and that'll come up right but it's on its own page as you can see there's the X to if I wanted to knock it off I could knock it off that way your other page is here right on this side so it comes on second part there so if you wanted to you could grab all the part of it like that like just the head so if you wanted to do that say copy that and put it on this one you could do that and paste like that so you got a head on this one right so you could do that sort of thing and then transfer from one to the other that way if you wished um, anything else really um, all of these tools I've gone through most of them except for I think the pen tool I haven't done the pen tool on, on my um, tutorials and that but they're all pretty simple to understand anyway um, you've got a pen tool right you click on it you can click another place and then click another place and it'll keep adding lines to it that's using this first pen mode but if you try dragging and doing it it'll make a curve and that you know so it's, it's a bit more awkward to understand then like that. right and so let's click all those again one minute let's go on to that I keep forgetting to do that myself and delete there's delete um you can use the pencil tool and that just a free hand drawing tool right and then once you've got that there you can select it as one item i mean if you select it as one item now you can fill it right um with a color whatever color you want if you wanted the outside of it to be seen more so and you want it a different color what you do is you go to this piece here go on to stroke improve the stroke I right, move that up as you can see now if you wanted to change that color from black to a different color like say red or yellow you could do it while this one's on top this circles on top because that is the um, outside edge of every uh, of any item that is right so you click on that to do that this one is the solid fill inside right now if you wanted to have it as just the outside without the inside you can just click on this one to get rid of that right there right let's not let's put that back on now right now if you wanted to do the same with the outside you don't want the edge you could 
click on that and then click that and it'll remove the edge instead right I'm just showing you that now if say you picked up the wrong colors and you wanted to swap them over you see this little arrow type thing here at the top you click on that and it'll change it round right and you got this little dropper tool here so if you wanted to change that for that one that's there right you can do that and then if you do that you can change that one as well and the dropper tool will change it to whatever you put on there so if I do this one click on the dropper and then do yellow hopefully that should be all right yeah so that's what you use all that for there um but then that's the basic need that you want is uh, how to do that how to do the shapes how to do the drawings with a pen how to do the drawings with a pencil uh, the pen you've got other ways of doing it like this one here is smart mode if you click on it and click another area and then click another area down here it'll automatically curve it to where you go like that right um, this one's a polygon tool so it'll be straight lines to like that there like that right so that's that's what that does and this one's just one straight line from one area to another as you can see look but you have to remember not to um, keep it on the same as before in order to stop that from happening what you would have to do is just press the escape key and then do you do another set right like that okay because the others was on the polygon mode that's why them all come together okay but that you play about with all these things here and you get used to using them right and you know eventually you'll get it it's quite easy really and uh, you still make mistakes even i make mistakes and i've been using it quite a while now so but um you forget things and uh, so um but that's the main parts if you want to need if you want to need some text on it you got the artistic text tool here but you can just type in hello like this and color it according to what color the, you want on by you got to select it first and then put the color on but if you got it selected anyway you can change the font up here like that you can change the boldness and the size and everything and it gives you options to align it in different ways and whatever else you might need so it's pretty uh, useful for that and uh, I'll show you the next thing which is quite important as well the layers here you got the layers so if, if say I wanted to add another layer for example let's just click off that a sec now I'm going to put a, a rectangle on a rectangle on there and that's my two layers now you've got the text layer and then the rectangle layer as you can see the rectangle layers are on top of the text layer because if I put that on top it'll be in front of it like that right now while this is on there what I'm going to show you is the opacity the opacity there is 100% if you tick it to 50 it will make it semi-transparent or completely transparent according to how far you down you go if it goes to zero it's completely transparent then you can make it semi-transparent so it looks like a window like that right and you got all the stuff here as well which you can learn about in the future but this is all quite nice for you to use Um also you've got effects where you can do a blur effect if you wanted to on that particular item to show you the blur effect on that oh you can't see wait a minute it's my time moving that's it like that can you see that making it blurred right and you got outer shadow so if you wanted to add a shadow onto it you can do like that you, you can see the shadow now yeah so if you wanted to make it look like it's standing off the wall like that it looks pretty cool Right, you can do that if you wish 
inner shadow is on the inside of the actual item you can do that if you wish there you go so that makes that look 3d as well inside so it looks like it's a container yeah so you can do that um you've got other things as well hang on let's see what else you got outer glow so if you wanted to add a glow to it and there like that that looks pretty cool doesn't it right, and an inner glow as well so you can do the inner glow you can add all of these or just parts of these you don't have to add all of them if you don't want to but it helps to give you an idea what's going on to mess about with everything and you got your outline you can improve your outline make it bigger by adding an extra outline right, so there you go look there you go you've got extra outline now look okay so you can do that right and you got 3d ability so you can make it look more three dimensional obviously with all the others on there anyway it's making it look a bit weird so what i'll do is just take them off a minute so i can show you that one better let's remove them by just clicking the ticks okay let's just do that get all of them goes in blur take that off as well right now with 3d we'll just show you that how that works can you see it yeah according to how much radius you put on and then you got your bevel so we can do the bevel instead if you wanted to that's kind of good as well adds the yeah uh, The shadow onto it as well like that. and then you got the opacity as well there according to what you need for the opacity right and you got your color overlay so if you wanted to add a color overlay you can do that and it's at the moment it's black so you can do like red if you wanted to or whatever and then have it semi opaque so you can change the colour to a different colour as you wish by doing the colour overlay on it so you can check give it a U of a different colour slightly like that according to your opacity right so let's just take that off a minute then you've got a gradient overlay as well so you can change that to give it a different sheen on it and with the gradient overlay you can actually uh, add to it some, some by doing the settings here and you if you go on the settings you can click on that and uh, click click like that so you've got extra spots you can change the colors blue on that one like that one green this one red this one yellow what right, so you got that so you could do that if you wish okay close that and that's how it'll look something like that it looks pretty cool doesn't it it's even got the opacity at a nice level there so that's the sort of thing you can do with that so that's your fx are really good for anything like that so just take all that off then the next one is styles there now these are pretty good if you want to create a style with like something like a brick or something like, there you go like that for example something like that you you can get more styles you, you can even create some i've even um, done a tutorial on how to create uh, styles for yourself using clip art or any image you can use it to make a style right so and you got metal styles here like this so we can make um, like my night for example I used one of these styles for that and you've got different styles there look so you can add whatever you need to 
right but that's the styles for you then you've got your text style so you can change the text and the style of the text and everything how you want and that will help you with your typography if you need to and then you've got your stock there so if you want to go into there and click on stocks you can do that if you've got it you have to agree to this though I think yeah I understand like that and it should come up but uh, I haven't used that at all really because I've got loads of stock on my own to be honest right so that's as much as I can tell you at the moment with that um, you've got the swatches there if you're in, into using swatches instead of uh, the other stuff so you can use the swatches by doing clicking on each one of them to change the colour as you need you've got your stroke here this is for using the brush tool which is the vector brush tool and to do that you just move that around like that you can improve the stroke I mean let's uh, click on it first improve the stroke like that decrease it this is the cap end so whatever the end looks like like a circle there let me just draw another one like that you can change the cap end on them I mean let's just do that click on it that's it it's, that's that right now you do cap end like that you can have it like that like that it changes it to whatever that shape is on the end like that one square now and you've got your joins there so if you have two parts you can join them by using these different things here you can't see it on there and that's the align so you you've got different ways of sorting the order out there right so there's all that um you've got a um dotted line which you can do with this so you go like this you see it's because i've done it like that it's uh not easy to see hang on i've got it on the wrong one it's coming up wait a minute let's try it ain't doing it right for some reason it might be too thick let's try that oh sorry i've done that wrong the dotted line is usually for what's it um uh, going round something what's that doing like that for example round the edges you can do a dotted line on the edges like that. okay so if you border basically you wanted a border and have it dotted you can do that way or you can have it like that now this one is the brush itself right so if you have it on that one when you click on the brushes you can change the way it looks like this so if you wanted to do a a different kind of border if you've got any more of these which I have got a few like uh, gauches and that and you got um, engraving that one's a good one look at the graving ones see it make it a different style for whatever you want to do so that that that's useful for that right um brushes you can also use for the brush tool obviously so if you've got a brush tool like that you want to do that and make a shape of your own or anything you can design a certain thing like that right right or whatever so that's what you can do with the brushes and things like that and using engraving acrylics or whatever media it's supposed to be okay i hope this has been useful to you and hope you've enjoyed it um please let me know and like and subscribe to tony's music if you do okay thank you